Did they follow us? Are we safe? Did, did that really just happen? It did. How does it feel, knowing you rescued three innocent creatures? It feels... incredible! I'm glad to hear it. Quite a jolt of adrenaline, no? So, what are we going to do with them? Should we put them in the paddock with the Obelai? No, we must keep them hidden. No one can know about them. Why? If we're learning about dragons, surely... No. We cannot risk knowledge of these eggs getting out. The fewer who know about them, the better. And that includes our dear friend Hagrid. Hagrid? We can trust him. And there's no one at Hogwarts who can have the dragon eggs as well as him. True. But his enthusiasm does sometimes get the better of him. No, we must keep this between the two of us. Agreed? Okay, so what are we going to do? Surely someone will notice three dragon hatchlings at Hogwarts. With a bit of luck, I will find them new homes before they hatch. Until then, I'm going to leave them in your care. Me? But I don't know the first thing about tending dragon eggs. It's quite simple. All you need is a warm vessel, a bit of care, and a safe place to keep them. I think my dormmates might notice that. They would, yes. But is there nowhere in all the castle you can think of? A place well hidden where no one will find them. Maybe one of the dungeons? No, too damp. Warmer would be better. Actually, I know just the place. Here we are. We call this the Room of Requirement. Incredible. You say this room provides whatever you need? Yes, although I don't know how it knows what I need. So, what's the first step? The first step is to identify the types of dragons you have, as each requires slightly different care. Looks like you've got three different species. Can you tell what they are? Now, we need to find a suitable container for each. Something we can keep at a constant temperature. Hmm. Uh... Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now let's warm them up. Try casting Incendio beneath each cauldron. That should keep them nice and warm.
Brilliant. Now caring for a dragon egg is quite simple. They require only even heat, a bit of moisture and regular attention. That about covers it. How are you feeling? I'm excited, but also nervous. What if I mess something up? Dragons are incredibly resilient, even as eggs. Just keep the fires lit and everything will be all right. I'll do my best. You did a good thing tonight. Very good indeed. Never forget that. So, it's true then. I... I can explain. Don't need to. Already heard you and Shuren talking, didn't I? Heard everything. Chinese fireball, Peruvian viper tooth, and... Romanian longhorn? I know. Still, can't believe you did it. I know. I don't quite believe Shogun trusted me to care for them either. Huh? Not that. I can't. After all we've done together, I thought we was mates. I could have. I, I could have helped. I know. I'm sorry, Colby. Shogun told me to keep it secret, even from my friends. Yeah, well, you could have said something. Maybe. But if the poachers found out, the eggs would. Poachers? What poachers? The ones we rescued the eggs from? You've got no clue what really happened, do you? Here, look. Those weren't no poachers. That was a ministry-sanctioned trade. Weren't illegal at all. Shoren said they were poachers. Why would he lie about that? Got you to help him steal the eggs, didn't he? Maybe he wants you to take the blame if you're caught. No, I refuse to believe that. He's not like that. In fact, I'll prove it. Where are we going? To get some answers. I thought for sure he'd be here. Probably out stealing more eggs. We could check his tent. I've never been in his tent, but I suppose a quick look around wouldn't hurt. Just to see if he's there. This place is huge! And look at all that dragon stuff! He's not here. We should go. Why? We're already here. 
I spoke around. Could be something that explains why he lied to you. Fine, but be careful and try not to break anything. Shorin's journal. Shall we read it? Let's do it. Maybe we'll find some answers. Shorin grew up in a small mountain village in China, where his family were pledged to protect dragons. <laughs> he loved them, but longed to explore the world. He left home. He was sad to go, but excited as well. The world was full of dragons, and Shoen wanted to see them all. He soon met a team of fellow explorers. They were impressed with Shoen's knowledge of dragons, and invited him to join their group. But they weren't just explorers. They were collectors of magical beasts, for a price. <clears throat> His boss said Shoren owed them, that they were family. He made him do one last job, poach a dragon's egg. <clears throat> but Shoren refused to give up the egg. They chased him and caught him, but so did something else. Shoren's heart was abandoned, left him to face the wrath of another dragon alone. Some family they turned out to be. He was trapped, and yet, he survived. Thanks to the egg. Poachers. Yes, and Shoen knew it. He says he convinced himself that what they were doing was noble, that they were helping to keep magical creatures safe. But in his heart, he knew better. He just wanted to find more dragons. Maybe. Let's see. Looks like he helped them for years. He traveled the world, caught lots of beasts, and... Aha! He finally chose to leave the group. Which didn't make his partners happy. Why'd you steal those eggs, huh? You poaching again? Never. I intercepted the eggs to protect the dragons within. Shorin, I'm sorry. You weren't here, so we, um, let ourselves in. Shorin, I, um, we didn't mean to. The egg absorbed much of the dragon's flame. All it took was my arm. A fair price for the years of damage I'd done. After I lost my arm, I made a vow to never again allow a dragon to be harmed if I could help it, no matter the cost. But that was a ministry-sanctioned trade! Perhaps. But that does not make it right. Or the wizards we stole from Righteous if the Ministry knew who they really were. But it's true! We stole the eggs! Yes, but do not feel ashamed. You did nothing wrong. But I was there! I helped you! You helped the dragons! Soon they will be gone from here, 
and if you wish, you may forget any of this happened. No, I... I don't want to forget! I just... I feel like you tricked me! I'm sorry. That was not my intent. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to see a match. You ain't cutting me out this time. Hopefully they'll be gone before they hatch. Can I trust you to continue with the plan until then? Yes. If it'll keep the dragon safe, I'm in. Oh, come on. I'll help you out. You can't bail on these dragons now. They need you. Fine. But if the Ministry catches us, I'm telling them everything. I understand. Do you think you'll be able to find safe homes for all three eggs? I do. It is a big world, big enough for all dragons to live in peace. Now I believe it is time for you to check on those eggs. Thank you. 